Welcome to Celestial Chronicles, where we delve into the profound narratives and timeless teachings of the Holy Bible. Have you ever wondered difference between the Old Testament and New Testament? Join us as we explore the rich tapestry of stories and lessons that have shaped centuries of faith and thought. Don't forget to subscribe and embark on this enlightening journey with us. When studying the Holy Bible, you will come across two main sections, the Old Testament and the New Testament. Compiled together into one unified whole, the entire Bible is composed of many different books and includes a vast array of literary styles such as short stories, letters, poetry, and historical accounts. The Bible not only forms the cornerstone of Christian faith but also serves as a key scholarly source, shedding light on the historical context and linguistic nuances of its era. To grasp the distinct characteristics of the Bible's two segments, it's essential to recognize the primary distinctions between the Old Testament and New Testament. Regardless of one's approach, both testaments provide deep spiritual insights and a window into the ancient society's perception of the divine. Presently, the Bible stands as a global bestseller, accessible in more than 700 languages. The Old Testament, the Bible's initial division, chronicles the dawn of existence to Jesus' nativity. Comprising 39 books, it records Israel's storied past and underpins Christian ethical doctrines. The Hebrew Bible, the Old Testament's precursor, is segmented into the Torah, Nevi'im, and Ketuvim. The Torah encompasses the inaugural quintet, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Within the Christian Bible, the Old Testament's initial segment is often called the Torah or Pentateuch, a term signifying law or instruction in Hebrew. However, law in this ancient context diverges somewhat from its contemporary English connotation. Today, law implies a collective agreement on rules to abide by, whereas in the Old Testament, it delineates the divine blueprint for the followers of God. The Torah is a tapestry of historical narratives and codified directives, outlining the divine schema for humankind and showcasing God's unwavering commitment to his people. The book of Genesis, which opens the Old Testament, primarily narrates the genesis of life and the formative epochs of the world. At its heart, Genesis chronicles the birth of the Israeli nation and their singular covenant with God. The subsequent division of the Old Testament, termed the historical books, narrates the saga following the Israelites' exodus from Egypt. Encompassing texts like Joshua, Judges, and the paired volumes of Kings, this scripture segment details Israel's settlement in Canaan, the rise of monarchy, and the ultimate fragmentation and downfall of the kingdom. The next section of the Old Testament is known as the Wisdom Books. Encompassing a variety of genres and literary styles, these books explore themes of beauty, love, joy, and sorrow, and reflect upon the nature and character of God. The biblical wisdom literature includes five books, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Songs, and Job. The concluding segment of the Old Testament, known as the prophetic books, mirrors the Tanicus division into major and minor prophets. The major prophets, including Isaiah and Jeremiah, are so-called due to the extensive scope of their writings. Conversely, the minor prophets, like Jonah and Amos, are characterized by their briefer compositions. These books predominantly offer a historical account from the perspective of various prophets, God's emissaries to humanity. They chronicle not just the historical events of ancient Israel but also articulate the enduring impact of these occurrences, such as the collapse of the Israelite and Judean kingdoms and the subsequent periods of captivity and exile. The New Testament of the Bible is the second major section and contains 27 books. It covers a period of time after the Old Testament, and is believed to be written around 50 to 100 AD. The New Testament is not included as part of the Hebrew Bible, it is in this section that Jesus arrives. Like the Old Testament, the New Testament is also broken down into sections, the Gospels and the Epistles. The initial portion of the New Testament, known as the Gospels, comprises the narratives of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, which chronicle the life of Jesus. This sacred text details the events of Jesus' birth, his teachings, his ministry, his sacrificial death, and his triumphant resurrection, elements that form the cornerstone of Christian beliefs. Each of these four books offers a unique perspective on Jesus' journey and purpose, providing a multifaceted understanding of his life and spiritual mission. The Gospel of Matthew presents the birth of Jesus as a divine event and recounts his life's mission. Matthew draws parallels to the Old Testament, illustrating how Jesus' teachings fulfill prophetic scriptures and align with divine law. The Gospel of Mark, resembling a narrative of suffering, highlights Jesus' significance and divine authority, documenting his miraculous deeds. Luke's Gospel portrays Jesus as a unifying figure, bridging divides among people. Lastly, the Gospel of John proclaims Jesus as the divine Son of God, promising eternal life to his followers. The New Testament's second segment consists of the Epistles, a collection of letters penned by apostles to guide early Christian congregations. 
These epistles served as counsel for church leaders, encouraging adherence to Jesus' teachings. They are categorized into two groups, the Pauline epistles, traditionally ascribed to Apostle Paul, with Romans as a notable example, and the Catholic epistles, named for their esteemed status in the Catholic tradition but acknowledged universally in Christianity. The latter includes texts such as James, and 1st and 2nd Peter. Finally, the New Testament ends with the Book of Revelation which contains different letters to the churches and also interprets the meaning of life from the beginning to the end of the world. Difference between the Old Testament and New Testament The distinction between the Old Testament and the New Testament lies in their content and focus. The Old Testament is the precursor, detailing the creation of the world and the origins of the Israelites. It primarily concentrates on the historical narrative of Israel and the establishment of God's laws. In contrast, the New Testament follows, chronicling the salvation of humanity through Jesus Christ's actions. It centers on the life, teachings, and redemptive work of Jesus, marking a shift from the historical and legal emphasis of the Old Testament to the personal and salvific narrative of the New. Grasping the distinctions between the Bible's two sections enhances our comprehension of its teachings. To further enrich your spiritual understanding and pursue your faith journey, explore Alabaster's elegantly crafted Bibles and a variety of supplementary resources designed to support your exploration. As we conclude today's episode on Celestial Chronicles, we reflect on the enduring legacy legacy of the Bible's testaments. How do the ancient laws and prophecies resonate with you in today's context? What insights can we draw from the life and teachings of Jesus that apply to our daily lives? Share your thoughts and join the conversation below. Remember, the dialogue doesn't end here, it's just the beginning. Subscribe for more explorations into the celestial chronicles of faith and history.